Hello everyone, this is Cosmic Kitsuname, and today I'm going to be talking about the new Super Mario Bros. movie that came out. And before I even get into this, obviously, spoiler alert, and I'm going to try not to hammer too hard on that, but just throwing it out there. So, when I was watching this movie, I went in there with pretty neutral expectations because Mario had never really had this deep story in the first place it was always you know you hear say the princess and for the most part everyone was used to that especially long-term fans a lot of us were just happy he got a movie period but we wanted it to be what we remember and it did not disappoint there were a lot of references towards the game and even a Kid Icarus reference that I found pretty funny and the music was pretty good as well my one gripe about it is that I wish they had taken more from really any soundtrack from Donkey Kong or anything related to it so that could have been better the pacing regarding that which is why I mentioned the music it matters more when you're hopping from world to world it probably wouldn't have been as noticeable if they weren't just going from world to world like that but that's kind of the downside I guess when you're trying to compile so much into one movie because it felt like they were trying to do a lot with a limited amount of time and that could have been fleshed out with giving Luigi more screen time because one big downside for me in the movie was Luigi was out of it, vast majority of it. I'd argue about 75% of the movie didn't even have a minute. At least. Some people will say more, but that's just what I'm giving it. And the voice acting was decent. Could have been a little better, but it was decent for what it was and this is what brings me to the characters Mario is a good character in this in terms of personality it showed the bond between the brothers which I felt was really heartwarming to me the high point of the movie it just felt kind of bare bones in the sense that there should have been more scenes where Luigi was also doing his own thing instead of just running away a Luigi's Haunted Mansion reference would have been really cool to see more of if anything and his personality I didn't really I didn't hate it but I just didn't expect their personality to be like that but I see the vibe or goal they were going for so let it slide Toad funny enough to me had the best voice in the movie and was the most likable and when it came to Bowser, well, that's a new take. You're either going to like it or dislike it, depending on how you feel about it. Me, I didn't mind. I thought it was funny. A bit kind of on the nose, but eh, it's something. It's like you kind of have to remind yourself Super Mario never had much of a story to begin with, so I guess it's a start. I really hope that in the sequel, they flesh out the character more 
or any of the characters more. Whether it be adding new characters or making more stories about the worlds. Because it kind of felt like we were getting a trailer of each world or a sample in very small ways. And this is what brings me to Princess Peach. It was missing some of that charm regarding the dynamic between Mario and Peach. Because I remember the character being more charming than it was portrayed in this movie. And that type of energy was heavily missing. She kind of had that Mary Sue vibe that I just didn't really care for. And her backstory really didn't help that. So, there were loose ends in the movie that I hope they tie up with the second movie because due to the pacing, there's just a lot of missed potential in the movie. It was almost like, hey, want to make a real cool movie? Yeah, let's do it. And it just went from there, which is fine. Overall, I'd have to give this movie a solid 3 out of 5. I wanted to rate this movie higher, but I just couldn't. Because there is one huge gripe that I did have in regards to Princess Peach and Luigi. I get the vibe they were going for by trying to make Peach this, you know, do it all awesome kind of character, but they didn't have to denigrate Luigi to do that. And make him, you know, in that type of position. I mean, Luigi's been taking hits for years, but still, that wasn't cool to do that. And so that kind of dampens the story a bit. I do hope in the second one that she actually does get kidnapped in traditional fashion because they already made every other reference, especially regarding that blue shell thing. I thought that was really cool. But, yeah, I think that's what a lot of people were looking for when they went into this, the nostalgia. If you were watching it purely for nostalgia, then... I guess it'd be a 4 out of 5. But if someone didn't know anything about Super Mario, then I'd guess it'd be about a good 3. Maybe slightly less. But decent is what I would ultimately give it. Most people know who Super Mario is or what he looks like, regardless of whether they played the old games or video games in general and they had that going for them if it had been anything else it would have definitely hit some roadblocks <laughs> and oh yeah I almost forgot Donkey Kong well I felt like that could have been done a bit better but then again I'm basing that off the version of Donkey Kong that I like from the Crystal Coconut series. So I'm a bit <laughs> biased when it comes to that. But yeah, overall, it was a decent movie. And I think the second one's going to be even better. Can't wait to see the Yoshi Egg Hatch. Can't wait to see what they're going to do with this. Because even though there was a lot of cut things, or missed opportunities. This really did hit some numbers. It's currently outshining Disney right now, and <laughs> it's pretty funny. We have to admit it's been bullseyed essentially in that. Because this is a bit of a callback to what movies or what things of this nature used to be. You take a story. You do what you can with it, and you just tell a story. I mean, 
anyone walking into this expecting it to be super deep and complex probably never played a Super Mario game before <laughs> or any Mario game for the matter because that is the whole basis of it. you save princess so I wasn't too upset about the twist on things but it could have been a lot better but who knows it's just the first movie so you take it with a grain of salt and you do what you can anyway that's really all I have to say about the movie. It is definitely worth a watch, whether you're a longtime fan or not. And I'm happy that I went to see it overall. So, anyway, I'd like to thank everyone that's watched my video and say take care and peace. This one is from my one and only true love, Princess Peach. Peach, you're so cool. And with my star, we're gonna rule. Peach, understand, I'm gonna love you till the very end. Peaches, 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 peaches,